Around mid-August last month, I provided an update on where each state stood when it comes to the LWA or Lost Wages Assistance Program that was authorized by President Trump under his executive actions. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's perfectly okay. We're going to be covering every single state and where it stands right now. So grab a drink, get some popcorn because of course there are a lot of states to go through, all 50 of them. But I will link that video down below in the description where I went more into depth on the LWA or Lost Wages Assistance Program and what it means for states and where the states stood at the time. So you could see that video after you're done watching this one. And if you're brand new to my channel, welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. We're on our road to 3K or 3,000 subscribers, and I greatly appreciate every single one of you. So if you have been enjoying my videos, go ahead and click that like button, smash it for me. It will just support me and the YouTube algorithm. YouTube will push the video out to more people. And if you want to see more of this my channel, I do post videos almost every single solitary day now because of your support. I do videos covering anything from business, finance, investing, entrepreneurship, mindset, strategy, and tips and tricks from my own experience. I also do the stimulus package and stimulus check updates and videos just like this one that you're watching right now are included in that topic. So if you're interested in any of those niches, go ahead and hit that big red button, the subscribe button, and also click that little notification bell as well. That will just notify you every single time I post a new video. So to quickly recap, the LWA program is essentially President Trump's makeshift extension of unemployment benefits, but the funds are not coming from the normal usual sources. In fact, they are coming from reallocated funds from FEMA, and that is what's paying for this extension. Now, when President Trump did originally sign those four executive actions in the first week of August, I did a video covering each and every single one of those as well, and I also did separate videos going even more in depth on each executive action, so I'll link all those videos down below in the description. But just to refresh on this specific action, remember that what happened was the government said that $300, 75% of the unemployment benefits were to come from the federal level, but the state was to come up with the other 25% or $100 totaling $400. But many states had already said right from the get-go that they would not be able to cover that $100 due to these circumstances. And so that requirement was removed for the state to cover $100 of the unemployment benefits. So many states are actually just going to be giving $300 and we'll be discussing that in just a bit. So the $300 and $400 extra unemployment benefits have started to go out in some states. However, for the most part, the majority of states are unable to keep up with Trump's executive order and they have to update their old computer systems because they're not used to this kind of inundation of claimants. So millions of Americans are in turmoil right now, guessing and hypothesizing when they'll start to see their boost in unemployment benefits. So we're going to be taking a look at all the data on all 50 states, including Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. Now, in order for the state to receive these benefits, they would have had to apply via FEMA and wait for that application to be approved. So we're going to be looking at the status of the FEMA applications as well. So sit back and relax. We're going to be starting with the sweet home of Alabama. Right now, Alabama's FEMA status is that they were approved on August 21st of 2020 and the amount that Alabamians will be getting is $300. The payments have started, they're already going out to citizens of that state. Next up in alphabetical order is Alaska, and as far as their FEMA status, they were approved on August 23rd of 2020, and the amount that will be going out to Alaskans will be $300. The payments begin in late October. So that's the latest that you'll start to see those payments. A spokesperson for the Department of Labor and Workforce Development in Alaska said that payments would start in about eight weeks from August 24th. In Arizona, they have long been approved since August 15th. The amount will be $300. The payments have started. And Arizona was the first state to start sending out $300 in those enhanced benefits. Arkansas, they were approved on the 25th. The amount will be $300. The payments will begin in a few weeks, presumably weeks away, according to an official. California was approved on the 22nd. That amount will only be $300. And the payments will start on September 7th. So they have already started for people that live in California. And they'll start processing the LWA claims on the 7th for a minimum of three weeks. Colorado was approved on the 16th. The amount will be $300. And the payments begin in mid-September, so about a week away. Colorado estimated that payments will begin in mid-September, like I said and this is according to a news release. In Connecticut, approved on the 24th, not too long ago, the amount will be $300. Payments will also begin mid-September, and Connecticut announced that it expects LWA, I guess that's a typo, payments to go out in the beginning of mid-September. When it comes to Delaware, they were approved on the 2nd, 
just about a week ago. The amount's gonna be 300, payments are to be determined. The latest official word from the first state was back in August in a press release, and it didn't provide a timeline, but did say that Trump's plan is a Hail Mary that is unnecessarily complicated and will be a nightmare to implement quickly. And that was the narrative that was expressed from the Democrats against Trump's executive actions, that it just made things way too complicated, and an agreement between Congress would be much more quick in order to get funds to Americans. However, Congress could not reach an agreement, so in a sense, you cannot blame Trump for having to take the stand and the initiative. Right now, Washington, D.C. will apply, and the amount will be $300. Payments are not determined just yet. The Capitol was one of the last to apply for the program, and it has yet to be approved so far. It has not released information on when payments will begin. Florida was approved on the 29th. $300 will be the amount payments begin on 9-11. And a news outlet reports that benefits should go out by September 11th. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity provided this statement. The department is working diligently to implement the necessary technology to ensure that Floridians will receive the LWA program. Program will allow Florida to offer an additional $300 per week. Payments will be retroactive to the week ending August 1st. It is certainly a positive that these payments will be retroactive, so as millions and millions of Americans await their payments, they are going to be getting and receiving exactly what they're entitled to, retroactive to the 1st of August. Georgia approved on the 23rd, the amount will be 300. Payments begin mid-September. Hawaii on the 29th, $300, not determined yet. Continues to work on the changes in its computer systems required to process the LWA payments. Idaho the 19th, the amount is 300. Payments have already started. And according to the Idaho DOL, payments began last week specifically. Weeks ending the 1st, 8th, 15th, 22nd are being issued during the week ending at September 5th. The week ending on the 29th issue date is pending and subject to available funds. Illinois was approved on the 1st. $300 is the amount. Payments are not determined yet. In an FAQ page, though, the Illinois DOES payments are not determined just yet, but in an FAQ page, the Illinois Department of Employment Security said that IDES will work as hard and quickly as possible to distribute the LWA as soon as grants funds are received. Indiana, the 21st, amount of $300 payments will begin mid to late September. According to a news report, LWA payments will go out in the next two to three weeks for all of you Indianians. Iowans will be happy to hear that their FEMA status was approved on the 15th. The amount is 300. Payments have already started, and they began making payments on the 4th of this month. Kansas has not applied yet, but they will apply, and the amount will be $400, so Kansas can afford the extra $100. I believe that is the first state out of all the states we have mentioned so far, we're already on K, that has said that it will send out that extra $100. So as you can see, it is rare, but if you happen to be lucky enough to live in one of those states, well, be grateful because not many states are doing it. Payments will begin late September at the earliest, so you will have to wait in exchange for that extra $100. Kansas has indicated that it will apply to the program. So far, there's no announcement on the approval of its application. The Kansas DOL published on the FAQ page that payments will go out no sooner than late September. Kentucky was approved on the 21st, the amount is $400, so people that live in Kentucky will be getting the extra $100. Payments will begin early September, and that's just an estimate. You can find updates on their Kentucky Career Center website, which currently states the following, quote, While the application is approved, reconfiguring the computer systems to pay the $400 is likely to take about two weeks, not too long. Therefore, benefits recipients should not expect the payments until sometime in early September. Louisiana, the status was approved on the 15th, the amount is $300. Payments have already started, and they started making payments in August. When it comes to Maine, they were approved on the 25th, the amount is $300, mid to late September is when payments will begin, according to a press release. That will take about three weeks to put in place the systems necessary to process these payments. Maryland was approved on the 20th, only $300 the amount. Payments will begin late September. Maryland announced that LWA payments will begin in late September on a, quote, first come, first serve basis. So it seems that not only will residents of Maryland not get $400, but they'll get $300, but maybe some people might be excluded because it's on a first come, first serve basis, which is unfortunate. Massachusetts approved on the 21st. The amount is $300. Payments have already started and it's, quote, those who are eligible for LWA through the Standard Unemployment Assistance Program 
access through UI Online. Benefits are expected to be dispersed on or before the 15th. Michigan, they are approved. Matt, $300 payments begin of the week of the 7th. This is according to a news outlet report. Minnesota was approved end of August. Matt, $300. Payments have already started. Mississippi approved on the 22nd. Matt, $300. Mid to late September is when those payments will be coming for you Mississippi residents. And the payment should begin three to four weeks from August 22nd. So do that math. Missouri Proven the 16th, about $300 payments started. They started sending out payments in August. Montana approved on the 18th. They will be getting $400. Payments already started in August. Nebraska will apply. The amount is to be determined. They don't even know whether or not it will be $300 or $400 yet. Payments will begin mid-September at the earliest. Still have to wait for you Nebraska residents. The Cornhusker state was the last state to decide whether to apply for the program. John Albin, the Nebraska Commissioner of Labor, announced on September 4th that Nebraska would apply to the program, but the indication was that payments would go out in two weeks at the earliest. Nevada has applied. The amount of $300 payments are not determined yet when they'll begin. They were one of the last states to apply for the program, so their approval is still pending. New Hampshire was approved on the 24th. The amount of $300 payments begin on the 10th, according to the FAQ page. Expects payments to be available beginning on the 10th of September. New Jersey was approved in the 4th. Amount of $300 payments will not be going out until October. For you New Jerseyans, I'm in New York. So close. So as one of the last states to apply to the program, New Jersey still has a lot of work to do in its modification of computer systems to send out the payments. The current projection is that payments will go out as a lump sum in October. New Mexico approved on the 15th, the amount is $300. Payments began the second week of September. New York will apply, the amount is $300. Payments are not determined yet when they'll begin. New York was one of the last states. They also said it will take some time to adjust their computer system so that $300 payments can be processed. New York has millions of claimants. They have more claimants, millions of claimants, more than certain states combined. A group of states, New York has more. So. A lot of modification there with New York system. When it comes to North Carolina, they were approved on the 21st. The amount of $300 payment started. And more payments will be released over the next several days for North Dakotians. They were approved on the 31st. The amount of $300 payments began in mid-September. Ohio, 26th. amount of $300 payments will begin mid to late September. Oklahoma was approved on the 18th. The amount of $300 payments will begin mid to late September. A notice on the OESC website notes that, quote, Exact start date and guidance on back pay will be issued closer to that time, so more information to be released. Oregon approved in the final days of August. Amount $300 payments are TBD. In a recent news release, though, it states that when an expected payment date is known, it will be shared on the Employment Department's website. There is the URL for you guys for people that live in Oregon. Pennsylvania was approved on the 24th. Amount $300 payments begin by the 12th. So according to a news report, Pennsylvania will start issuing payments by September 14th. Unlike most other states, claimants must complete a LWA certification. So a report out September 7th says that payments will go out by September 12th. And there's the link to that certification that you'd have to fill out. RI, amount $300, the payments will begin on the 12th, according to a press release. For South Carolina, they were approved on the 1st, amount $300, payments will begin mid to late September, according to a press release dated on September 1st. South Dakota, their status is they will not apply, as we have talked about before. Governor Kristi Noem, she has expressed support to the government for their gratitude, but she said that South Dakota is fortunate to not have it as worse as other states, and so they never even had to shut down for the most part. They never needed additional federal unemployment benefits, and they will not apply to LWA. They are chilling like Bob Dylan. Tennessee approved in the 22nd amount is $300. Payments have started, according to a news report. LWA payments began about a week ago. Texas approved on the 21st, amount $300. They started. Utah approved on the 16th, amount $300. Mid-September is when they'll begin. Vermont approved on the 22nd. The amount will be $400 for residents of Vermont or workers in Vermont. Payments will begin mid-September. And in a statement dated August 25th, Vermont said the payments will begin, quote, in the coming weeks. Virginia Approved on the 26th, the amount will be $300. Payments begin on the 30th. Washington approved on the 24th, 
about three hundred dollars. Payments begin in the last week of September. Just about West Virginia approved on the twenty seventh. Amount will be four hundred dollars for West Virginia. Payments are not determined yet. Wisconsin beginning date for payments are not determined yet. There's no guideline or timeline for payments. Wisconsin was approved in the first. Amount three hundred dollars. Payments will begin all the way in November. So you'll be taking your LWA payments to the ballot box with you guys if you live in Wisconsin. Ridiculous. Wyoming approved on the 28th. Amount $300. Payments begin TBD in a press release dated on August 23rd. Holly McCammy Simone, the Workforce Programs Administrator for the Wyoming Department of Workforce Services, said that we will work diligently to complete this process as quickly as possible. And that Forbes article is dynamic. It will be updated, so you can call back to it if you would like. But I'll probably do maybe just one more video after all the states know that payments are coming or have already started to receive payments. Gonna need a drink after that one. It was a lot to take in, but all you have to do is just go in alphabetical order. So if you live in a certain state and you want to know it right away, then you could have just fast-forwarded. But I could have told you that beforehand, but I needed that watch time. So that is the current status of all 50 states and the District of Columbia. So that is where we are right now. More information will be coming soon. It is inconceivable to think that some states won't be receiving payments until late September, October, and a couple states even November. That is just unfathomable. I know it does take time for these computer systems to update as they are using old softwares and old technology, but it takes that long, really? If you are unemployed and you are collecting benefits, let me know down below in the comments if you started to receive LWA benefits or if you're awaiting them. And also let me know what state you are tuning in from. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section down below. Now, even though all states are currently in the process of updating their systems and constantly working to keep them afloat, if Congress does pass similar legislation that's equal to or greater that would provide the equal amount or more money to Americans if a stimulus bill does include that, then the LWA program would be nullified and then payments would just go out to Americans according to that new stimulus bill. So more updates will be coming. We are to keep our eyes peeled, but if you enjoyed this video, if you got value out of it, be sure that you give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button, and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. So that we're notified every single time I make a new video. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one.